Binge the full week of The Ray Taylor Show ad-free over at Patreon.com slash Inspired Disorder. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. Rona Days, episode 78 of the show, where I recap my week uh, since it's the after times from the before times. Before times were a long time ago, uh, and we're 78 weeks in since everything locked down. Uh, and things are still going crazy, even though everybody's pretending. Not everybody. It's just, it's a weird time. It's a weird time. Uh, but thankfully, I'm vaccinated. Thankfully, uh, I voted no on the recall. So I'm doing everything I possibly can to survive and keep California from becoming the next Florida or Texas. Um, so I took Monday off again. Similar reasons as last week. Uh, I had a much better week, though. Let's put it that way. I've kind of, at least this week, felt like this new format, my new schedule, is kind of, it, it's, it's it, 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 starting to feel more normal. Put it that way. Uh, and Mondays, having Monday off, taking Monday off feels good. Because Sundays can be exhausting not only just because I'm, I'm working from the moment i wake up to the moment i go to sleep but leading up to sundays uh things can pile up on the back end of the week so some weeks when things pile up sundays you know really feels like uh once i'm done sometimes i really feel the need to just not do anything and monday i woke up feeling that 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 kind of way where i just did not want to do anything, super unmotivated, uh, tired, depressed, all of that, uh, which was okay because I didn't have to do anything. Put it off. You know, I did the bare minimum for the day. What I really did was set myself up for Tuesday. It's like knowing that I'm taking Monday off. It's like, well, I want to get going Tuesday. Like, just, that's, like, w taking time off sucks for me because it takes a while to get those those tires turning again. Um, but one of the tricks that I've kind of come up with for dealing with a lot of things, a lot of the times it's it's just failure to start working on something. This is a trick I do to, to help me start something that I, I overthink or keep putting off. And it's just preparing. It's just doing preparation. Uh, and one of the things specifically I did to prepare myself for Tuesday is I did a big to-do list of just a bunch of simple things. A bunch of simple things that I knew I could get done easily within the day. But it's a bunch of simple things that, like, were necessary to get done that, because they're simple, I could have put them as, like, consolidated them into one reminder. But breaking the up, them up into making it feel like I'm getting a lot done, it feels good marking things off your to-do list. So if the things on your to-do list are super basic, then you're making that feeling of accomplishment super super easy to feel and to touch and to to get the mental benefits from so that's what i did S monday night like I, I wanted to get to bed early monday i was just out of it what all day monday uh but i was like i'm gonna go to sleep so i'm nice and rested for tuesday and i'm gonna have this simple to-do list so i wake up and i can just start doing things and it one, it helps me get things done because just starting, like if if on the simple to-do list is just step one of a project that requires 10 steps, getting that one step done not only helps just get me one step closer to the goal, but it also, because it's such a simple step, I might do two or three more steps just because I started. You know, I got the wheels going, and I'm here. I'm sitting in front of the thing. 
So instead of just doing the one thing, like I can just do the whole thing. I can just do a couple things. So that's like, it's like a trick. It's, you know, it's, it's in preparation too. You know, getting things set up, knowing that it's like I'm not going to do anything right now. I'm just setting things up so that tomorrow or, yeah, usually tomorrow but, or later, I'm going to do this thing that I'm overthinking and putting off. But if I just think of just I'm prepping, I'm just going to get things set up, and I'm not going to start doing it after I get things set up. A lot of the times, once I get things set up, I will just start doing the thing automatically. But because I've convinced myself that that's not something I need to think about because all I'm doing is setting up, that it tricks me into doing the thing. Little trick that I found to distract yourself from overthinking about the project, the thing that needs to get done, is to just focus on the preparation. Focus on the things that... One, being prepared helps you, like, you, it's a lot easier to tackle any kind of project or thing if you're prepared. If you're going into a debate, being prepared, it's a lot easier. It's a lot less stressful going into a debate if you're prepared. Similarly with everything else. If you're prepared, if your tools are readily accessible, if you're set up and ready to rock, you're going to be way more successful at whatever you're doing because you don't have to... You're not trying to do, you're not trying to prepare, you're try, not trying to dig th things out as you're working. It's just like slightly more efficient, but also a great way to trick yourself into getting stuff done. A little over four years ago, I started The Many Faces. It's an ongoing series of abstract ink portraits. Each piece is improvised. Each piece is released daily. Start collecting now. Head on over to inspiredisorder.com slash TMF. That stands for The Many Faces. And save yourself 25% when you use coupon code RTS. That stands for The Ray Taylor Show because that's what you're listening to. And I love you. So I want you to save 25% when you use that coupon code. Head on over to inspiredisorder.com slash TMF. TMF and use coupon code RTS to save 25% when you start collecting one of over 1,600 original ink paintings by myself. I made them. Support me. I love you. Back to the show. Uh, so I had a simple to-do list and knocked them all out Tuesday. Like it's it's nice. Like I have these marker boards that I I also use them for. I have like 20 of them, but these marker boards, I use them for the show, this show, uh, my notes. So each episode has a different marker board, and they have just little notes, little things that I want to make sure I talk about and touch on. I have a separate one that's just my to-do list. So I had it full of things to do, which can feel daunting, but I knew they were super easy stuff. Like, I knew what I was doing. Like, I'm not dumb where I was like, dude, this is a lot. I'm gonna get stuff. How am I gonna do it? Like, I'm well aware that I'm tricking myself, but I also know that it works. So I had all the things and, it, and I knew it would feel good. Nothing feels... The worst feeling is having something on your to-do list sit there. Like, it's the thing you're avoiding, which I have those things too. But just as a way to kickstart my week, I found that take Monday off, right? Produce this show on Sundays. Tomorrow, I'm taking it off. I'm not doing anything. You know, I'll probably watch maybe a movie that I'm going to review. Or there'll be things that I'll do, preparation stuff for this show eventually. Um, but for the most part, I'm not, there's nothing's going to get completed on Monday. Um, but then Monday, what I will do is just fill out a basic to-do list for Tuesday. Um, and then what I do is once I go through stuff, I start adding more things to my to-do list because I have a kind of a running to-do list uh, for each week. And I try to, you know, 
I try to get things done. I try to be a good employee to myself. Uh, but anyway, um, another thing that I've done this week, which I mentioned last week that I'm starting to prepare for, preparing for October. Uh, October, I want to do with the Ray Taylor show. I want to do very Halloween themed, very, you know, horror themed month of things. Uh, so the plan is Mondays are going to be a review of a new movie, horror movie. I don't know what's coming out, uh, but whatever. It could, maybe, it might not be horror movie or Halloween movies. There's usually some Halloween movies come out. Uh, but I'll try to make it horror specific. Um, you know, if, if Quentin Tarantino comes out with a movie next month, I'm going to review it. <laughs> I'm not going to wait. I don't think he has one coming out. But still, uh, the idea I want to do, Mondays are for new movies, and uh, horror movies would be recommended. Tuesdays are currently Ted Lasso, uh, and as Ted Lasso is going to end middle October, uh, I think they have 12 episodes this season. The next show that I'm going to be doing the episode-by-episode recaps of is the show Dave. So that will be starting on Tuesdays in October. Uh, Wednesday and Thursday, same thing. Swipe up. I'm talking about news from Instagram. Uh, And Thursday is this where I recap my week. So they're not going to change much. Uh, Although, you know, maybe I'll try and definitely be flavored in the October. It will be October. Uh, Fridays are currently franchise movies. Uh, so I'm going to be reviewing, f- there's five Fridays in October, so I want to try and do, I was going to do Halloween, I've also thought of maybe doing the F- Saw franchise, but I'm, st- I'm, I'm in my head, I'm, I'm going through some possibilities of franchises that I want to do uh, a five, five episode review of, uh, or maybe more, I don't know. Maybe I'll do two short franchises in that. But Fridays will be for franchise movies, horror franchise movies. Saturdays are, right now, Saturdays are classic films. I'm reviewing classic films. Sometimes I do a challenge. I might do some challenges. Although I'm excited to be reviewing some classic horror films, some horror films that are like well-known, well-regarded films that are just blind spots for me. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, filling in some of my classic horror film knowledge. Uh, and Sundays is when I do top five. Uh, so currently, I'm, one of them is going to be the... I'm going to draft uh, my top five uh, just Halloween things from Halloween, uh, the holiday. Uh, I'm going to do one that's five, my top five things for fall and autumn, things I love about fall, that time of year. Uh, my top five horror films... Uh, I'd like to do a top five of at least one franchise, uh, and then maybe like, uh, top five costumes or top five Halloween candy, something like that. Uh, so those, that's my plan for October, which is coming up in a couple weeks. And I'm already doing the horror movies. I've been watching some horror movies, uh, specifically tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow I'm doing 28 days later. Uh, I'll be talking about that one, and then next week will be 28 Weeks Later. So that's a two-film movie franchise uh, leading into October. See what I did there? Um, <clears throat> so that's I'm excited for it. I'm excited for the current structure of the Ray Taylor show. Like every day, Monday is a new movie. Uh, Tuesday is episode-by-episode episode recap. Wednesday is swipe up, kind of like a news uh, episode. Thursday is my diary episode. Friday is a franchise movie, Saturday is a classic film, and uh, Sunday is my top five. Uh, so that's kind of the big, the bulk of what I've done this week, is trying to figure out what I want to do um, for October, which uh, just figuring out what the specific movies are going to be, the specific franchise is going to be, uh, that's the big question, but... Uh, I'll fill those in. You'll see. You'll see. I mean, it may be the week of that that things happen because you never know. Sometimes I'll have a plan to do a show and I'm just not feeling it. 
like a, reviewing a movie or something like that. I'm just not feeling it. And the day of, you know, like a Saturday or a Friday, a movie will come out or something will come out or something will, I'll, will get my attention and I'll just out of nowhere, just like, all right, that's, that is now my Saturday episode uh, or Friday episode or whatever, Monday episode. Um, the advantages of just me producing everything. Uh, is that I can change things instantaneously. I have the control in my hands to control and manipulate every single thing, every aspect of the Ray Taylor show. Uh, so, that yeah, that's been my week. That's about it. Still hot as shit. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's about it. I need to lose weight. My diet is... I just need to be more active. It's because I'm not doing anything. Anyway, I'm not even going to get into that. Hope everybody's having a good week. If you're not vaccinated, what the fuckers... What, get vaccinated. Wear a mask still. Do all of the things. Because the pandemic is still going. Now, just because you're vaccinated and you're wearing a mask and all this... You still get sick. So protect yourself. Don't pretend that this thing isn't around anymore. Because it is. And it's worse. It's worse. So just protect yourself. I don't want my audience to die. I don't want people that enjoy listening to me die. I don't want to die. Let them die. Protect yourself. Let them be stupid. Let them... Let Darwin's law of death and destruction for the stupid become a reality. That's it. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Binge the full week ad free over at Patreon.com slash Inspired Disorder. Buy a Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com. And follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Oh!